Bunch of Metal World, March 14, 2021. This is the first time I make um, filet of night. And it's um, about um, 80 tile thick, or a little less than 2 millimeter thick. Partial tang here. And also, um, um, I uh, shaped the uh, handle. I wasn't sure what to do. And um, but anyway, I got this, and also the, anyway, it turned out nice in terms of the shape wise, and uh, the wood is uh, fairly special. It's um, yellow, curly, uh, got a wire pattern here of uh, desert iron wood. So and initially, I mean, I was to make it intend to have a rough texture because for don't want to be slippery when wet but uh, I decided to send all the way to um, 2500 grit and anyway you have three Corby pin here and uh, it's very flush actually I, I man saw the slit very flush so, so lucky shot anyway it's about six and a quarter inch long blade and you can see the spine and I sharpen about 16 degrees per side I mean um, fillet knife you don't really want to sharpen I mean you want a little contact but I, this is just a v-shape using its pro and it and it with uh, about with a dull 600 grit diamond plate on the its pro so and uh, I'm thickness behind the edge I'm guessing about 12,000 or something of an inch thick and so anyway I don't really have a very big thing to fillet I mean for this size I used to be filleting fish when I was fishing before like steelhead and salmon like that and the, the, the tip is it can do certain flex here very pointy though I mean it will so when you cut, I mean if you were going to do a clean and cut, you want to, uh, you don't want to stab into things, you want to draw, just like a surgical scalpel, and then you can move things and then let the tip bounce along the rib and, and the bone, right? Anyway, a little convex will slide better, uh, but anyway, I don't have the uh, big fish to fillet, and also I don't eat fillet usually, so I got something out of Costco here. And I'm going to do a quick, uh, because, you know, what the edge is, called the, the end here, is, uh, it's not super, super sharp, because it's just a grid, and I get finish it, but I did want to see whether it hold up when I was doing something like, uh, uh, instead of filleting here, I'm going to get clean some fish, and just, uh, this is Red Snapper, Costco, and so let me check again the edge before I tore the, uh, they're a little noisy here, right here, noisy. Uh, okay, anyway, not good enough. Oh yeah, this steel is man axe, and actually quite hard to, and it's about 61, 61 and a half Rockwell Benex. And it's still some little scratchy, but that's okay. So basically, I'm going to use it as a cleaning. Actually, I'm going to just cut the tail because I'm going to fry this thing. So, and these are actually. This bone is actually hard. So, and. Uh, I just try to use it like a clean for cleaning. I mean, I just want to clean it. I'm not doing it very. All right, so you can probably skip. Uh, I just want to see well whether or not it can hold up to bone. <laughs> Well, usually you cut around the bone like this, I mean, I, but I didn't want to 
actually put the, the testing purpose, I didn't want to get to see it cut through bone, and so, I don't want and so. Um, this fillet knife, not really for this, this job, but again, I mean, yeah, sure, if I get a fillet, this knife and clean my fist, I'm going to get, I'm going to go through with it. And uh, I just got to get cut the tip of the fist it for, see how it, how it perform. So, get pardon. Wrong tool for the job or whatever, and uh, well, I'm gonna leave the belly here. I'm gonna cut the tail for the only four fish, and then I will. Then I will end the video from after cutting the the tail of the fish. Yeah, this one looks like uh, the store they already cut the trim this one already. Alright, I'm going to clean it up real quick and test to see what the edge looks like. Well, I'm not there any uh, particularly damaging or something like that. I mean, they were against the uh, phone book. And this, that, this is just natural. That's your iron wood. It's very. Uh, Doable, uh, you know, old weather kind of deal. Anyway, so up now I dried it. The handle is very secure. I mean, some of the choy and everything here. So, and um, That was, I mean, didn't, I don't know, if, I, mean, I can, you can check the sound from early on and the sound now, it feel about the same, but I didn't really, oh, I didn't use the tip, oh, pardon me, let me try to use the tip a little bit to uh, score the, see what it look like. I'm going to fry this thing, so. So it's okay to have a little scale, you gotta cut through. Let me try to use the top brush up here. Um, yeah, that too much of a chunk piece come out, but that's okay. The fishes seem to be. Anyway, anybody was going to. Try to remove a little bit more for this one here, yeah, near the tips, using the tips. Let me get kind of take the head off this one. Use the tip to draw off this part here. I was saying earlier not to do something, but I just want to see um, how frail the, the PD. It 
it, it flex enough, but it's not that flimsy. And uh, I don't think the tip, any damage to the tip. Yeah. Thank you for watching.